Hey everybody, DaVinci Resolve 18 is finally out. And so if you're looking to upgrade DaVinci Resolve 17, your existing installation to the new version of 18, before you jump in head first, I wanna show you some critical steps that are gonna be really important so you don't lose all your projects and all of your work that you produced by messing up your databases. That's right. So let's jump right into this. Before you do anything else, open up DaVinci Resolve 17 and go to each database and there's a little button up here that says backup. Click that button, select a site, uh, preferably it's an external disk and you can save the backup there. Do that for each one of your databases. This is really important because if you lose everything when you install 18, you'll still have all your projects if you did this step. If you skip this step, uh, good luck, I can't really help you. Once you back up all your databases in a safe location, then you can go ahead and close out DaVinci Resolve 17, open up a web browser and go to Blackmagic's website. You can see 18's out, it's at the head of their page. They had a big announcement today and you're gonna find your download. If you got the free version, then you just need to fill out the form. And if you have the studio version, you can skip it and hit download only because you probably already registered it. I'm gonna download the studio version. As you can see, as we're doing this, I'm gonna speed up my footage because if you had to watch this in real time, you'd get really bored of this. So you're gonna see some fast forwarding as I go along here. You can see it's just over 2.7 gigabytes. That's the biggest release that Blackmagic has ever had for DaVinci Resolve, so that's cool. There's gonna be some new things in there, but it does take a little bit longer to download and get everything installed. So once it's downloaded, I like to just extract that file. Once the file is extracted, click on it, then it's gonna do another expansion of that file. It takes a little bit and it's gonna go through installation of Resolve 18. And if you don't wanna select the C drive, you have another drive on your machine, you can do it right here. I'm gonna select the D drive, a new location. Then I'll start the installation. After it gets done installing DaVinci Resolve 18 on a Windows machine, it's gonna install these C++ libraries. And I don't have a Mac, so I'm sure it's installing something for you guys as well. So once everything's installed, it's gonna prompt you to restart your computer to finish the installation. Go ahead and do that. After the reboot, open up DaVinci Resolve 18. And once it finally loads, you're going to see the new interface. It looks a little bit different. That's kind of cool. Up here in the upper right, you can see you can select a language. So it's going to default to English. If you'd rather install a different language, go ahead and do it up here. Get everything set. And then we're going to have our databases just like we used to. It's going to prompt you and tell you kind of a warning here. Hey, once you update these databases, you're not going to be able to go back. So that was the critical step. We already downloaded them and put them in another location. So the files that are pointed to by your installation of your database, those are going to get destroyed, but you do have a backup. So go ahead and say yes. If you've already made backups of all of your old DaVinci Resolve 17 databases, if you have not, do not move forward with this step. Go back to the beginning of my tutorial and start there. If you've done everything, we're going to update all these databases. And now we can go ahead and load DaVinci Resolve 18 and the fun begins. Thanks a lot for checking out this video. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Hopefully I'll get some new 18 videos out for you guys soon, but I appreciate your time today. Take care, everybody.